Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are standing beside our hay wagon because when we unloaded this, we put air in the tires and all that stuff, but we knew that the tires had some leaks and we actually had one that the tire had come off the rim and right now is actually off the rim again because it's been sitting, uh, just waiting for us to need to use it. And it's kind of been out of sight, out of mind. So I hadn't went ahead and fixed these tires, but we're gonna do that today. And what I'm gonna do is get this tire popped back on the rim, and then I'm gonna take some of the green slime and put in these tires to hopefully fix any of these small leaks and stuff. That way I don't have to buy tires. I actually called around, I wouldn't have thought this, but I guess because of vehicles and stuff nowadays, so many vehicles have gone to 16, 17, 18 inches, their standard tire and wheel package, that you can't hardly find a 15 inch tire anymore. And I actually called several tire shops and trying to find a 15 inch, just light truck tire or something like that. And they all said, I wish I could get them. I wish I had them, you know, and, and trying to find just used tires to replace these is actually pretty tough. They did say that you can get a trailer tire in this correct size, but again, that's, the price of a new tire, which is, I think for those trailer tires, is about 70 or 80 bucks a tire. So I thought that I would try to do this first and see if that held it because it's just a trailer I'm gonna be pulling out through my field. It's never gonna hit the road or anything like that. So we're gonna try it with the green slime first. And if that doesn't work, then we'll resort to replacing a tire or two tires or whatever we need. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tire and wheel off of here be a lot easier to get this back on the rim if it's not on the hay wagon. So we're gonna pull it off and then I'll show you how we're gonna do that, but I don't recommend doing it yourself. I have to say, this DeWalt impact wrench has been a lifesaver. I've actually had this for a while. This is actually the old 18 volt version but I've got the adapter on it to be able to use my 20 volt max batteries. But man, this thing really saves you a lot of back breaking work. So again, I do not recommend or endorse doing this. This is just the way that I'm gonna do it because I really don't have any other way to get it on there. My air compressor, you know, puts out a lot of air, but it doesn't put out enough to be able to pop that tire back onto the seal. The tricky part about this is, once we get the tire back on the bead, you've got to keep all, you've got to let all the air back out of it in order to put the tire slime in. So I'm hoping that it will lock it on there good enough that I'll be able to get the slime in there and then put air back in it. Because I don't know if you can spray this in there after the slime's in there and it actually works. So. Uh, we're going to try it like this to begin with. So there we go, we got it back on the bead. I was beginning to wonder whether it was gonna work because my can of spray was just about empty. The main thing is you've gotta have enough to get it on the inside of that wheel, not just on the outside. It needs to be sprayed to the inside so that when it ignites, it poofs that tire out. Where I was spraying it on the side, my can kept running out of stuff, so I didn't know if I had enough in there to be able to get it or not. So now I've actually gotta let the air out of the tire and then we'll put our tire slime in there so we're gonna go ahead and pull the valve stem out. So a tire this size is supposed to take about 24 ounces of this stuff. And this thing is in the gallon jug. And so it says that one pump equals one ounce. So it's gonna take 24 pumps to put enough in here. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and put our valve stem back in. I'm gonna grab the air hose and go ahead and put this thing up to about 30 pounds of pressure. So now we just gotta put our tire and wheel back on. Our other tire here is not all the way flat. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually leave it on the trailer because it's not off the bead or anything. We're gonna pull the valve stem which it'll let the rest of the air out. So we're gonna put 24 pumps in this one also. So now we're gonna put our valve stem back in and fill it with air. I'd say that's close enough right there. And that's all there is to it, to fixing these tires. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out just fine. We still have to pull the trailer. It says in the directions, a minimum of 0.2 miles. So we're gonna go and just run it up and down the driveway a little bit and kinda, kinda run around the field or something. And then we'll bring it back here and it should be good to go. I have to say that this is not a commercial for slime products or anything like that because it's just that I'm a firm believer of this stuff. I have used it for a number of years. They say that their product works, you know, like up to two years and that kind of stuff. But I've had their product in tires many more years than that. In fact, uh, I've actually got a lawnmower that's got this stuff in there and it's probably been in there for close to 10 years and it still holds air. And before we had to put air in the lawn, it was a riding lawnmower. And we had to put air in the tires every week. When you go to use it, you have to air up the tire. You know, I told my dad, I was like, hey, put some of that green slime in there. I think that'll solve your problem. So he did. 10 years later, you still don't have to put air in those tires. Now I've heard other people not have that kind of luck out of it. Every, th every time I've used it, I've had that kind of luck. I've put it in ATV tires that had slow leaks and you might not ride it for a month or something like that and you go out there and, and your tire's just about flat. I put this stuff in there and solve the problem completely. So I am a firm believer of it. Not saying that everybody will have the same results, but I'm just saying that I always have good results with it. So anyways, if you found today's video helpful, make sure to click that thumbs up button, follow along with us, subscribe to the channel for all the other projects and stuff we got going on around the property. And thanks for watching. Also, if you'd be interested in checking this product out, I will leave a link in the description below where you can find it. I do take part in the Amazon affiliate program where that if you use my link, I do get a small commission off of it. But anything that I get from that just goes right back into the channel to help bring stuff like this to the channel. Hey guys, I just got home from work and I wanted to do a real quick update on our hay wagon that we got from K&H Tractors. A while back, I done a video about putting some tire slime in the tires to hopefully not have to buy tires for this. I done that on, I believe it was June 16th that I put that tire slime in here. So let me show you what we got. Today is actually November 8th and the tires are still holding air. As you can see, they're not squatted down or anything. They're, they're actually right where they need to be. So I'd say that tire slime actually works out pretty good. Like I say, today is November 8th. And this was the tire that was actually off the bead. And this tire back here actually pretty rough looking. And as you can see, it's an old tire. It's pretty well inflated all the way. You might have to add just a little bit of air to it if I was going to be hauling hay on it right now. But, you know, it's not had anything added to it since... I believe it was about June 16th. So like I say, I just thought I'd record that and stick it on the end of this video so you kind of see an update on, you know, how well this stuff was working. I did, from the video, I ran it up and down the driveway a little bit and I had to put air in it after that. 
and I thought, well, I don't know if this is gonna work out too good or not. But after I actually used it to haul hay with and I put air in the tires at that point and ran it back and forth through the field a whole bunch and, and putting a load on it and all that kind of stuff, it actually ended up not needing any more air in it. And as of right now, from that point till now, November 8th, I've not put any air in it and it's still sitting here and all the tires are up. None of them are, are even looking low. They all look like they have, you know, up to pressure in it. I didn't actually check them, but they look like they're pretty close. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Didn't have to buy tires for it. And I'm pretty sure that by next spring, uh, you know, whenever it's time to cut hay again, I'd say they'll be just fine from, from the looks of it here. I'd say it'll be, will be just fine. And like I said, I've used this product in the past before and have been extremely happy with it. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily push their product. I'm just sharing my experience with it. So anyways, with that being said, it's getting dark and we'll see you on the next one.